<sighs> We've all been there, but luckily this situation may not be around for much longer. That's why we've helped create a next generation credential. We call them pass keys. At Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference in June, the company talked about how it's working with Microsoft, Google, and about 250 other companies to eliminate the need for passwords. That's across many internet services. When this idea comes to fruition, all you'll need is a fingerprint or a face scan, and that's it, you're in. No more passwords. If you're wondering how that'll work, I'll key you in. Get it, key you in? A lot of you had questions about the passwordless future article I wrote back in June. So stick around until the end because I asked the companies and I have a couple answers for you. But first, let's talk about the problem. Passwords suck. Many people not only hate passwords, but they can't be bothered to use secure ones. If you're responsible and actually set up a secure complex password, guess what? You still have to remember them or find some other way to save them. Credentials get leaked in data breaches all the time, and they tend to have other security issues too. But before I get all excited, let's take a look at what this might look like in practice. Apple says passwordless logins will look something like this. When you go to sign into an account, you just tap the username field, which prompts a face ID scan, and you're in. Notice the password box literally goes away. That's because pass keys are hardware based, but they're also still accessible across operating systems. But what's happening behind the scenes? The cross-platform functionality is enabled by a security standard that's set by the Fast Identity Online Alliance, aka FIDO. The standard calls for a pair of two related digital keys. One of the keys is public and sits on the service provider's servers. The other is private and can't be removed from your device. Together, they make up Apple's pass key system. To log into an account, the operating system would connect the two keys. For Apple products, Face ID and Touch ID will take care of that. Google and Microsoft are working on similar offerings, which might use biometrics or a pin. And if you need your Apple-created pass keys to sign in on a non-Apple device by Google or Microsoft, you'd be presented with a QR code to scan with your iPhone, which would authenticate the login. Experts told me that pass keys are resistant to phishing attacks. That's because there's no password involved. And that's by design. They also can't be leaked because nothing private is held on a web server. It's pretty monumental for Apple, Google, and Microsoft to be working together on this. But the company still haven't figured everything out just yet. Some of your questions spotlight this, so let's dig into a few of them. What happens if your primary device doesn't have Touch ID or Face ID, or if they don't work well for you? You can still use pass keys, but your device passcode or system password would authenticate you instead of a face scan or fingerprint reading. You'd still be using some type of password to log into your accounts, at least until you upgraded to a newer device capable of running iOS 16, iPad OS 16, or Mac OS Ventura. Some of you told me that you have issues using fingerprint scanners as you get older, and FIDO's president confirmed that this is a potential problem. All right, next question. What happens to pass keys when you die? Your pass keys don't have to die along with you, but you do have to share access to your accounts while you're still here. On Apple devices, you can share your pass keys through AirDrop, which means you have to be within Bluetooth range of the other person. You just go to where your password settings are and find the login you'd like to share with someone. Google says it's working on a way for apps to generate unique pass keys for users on shared accounts. The president of Fido told me if you share a bank account, for instance, you'd have a unique set of pass keys for you and a unique pair for the other person. It's like having two really secured, unique passwords for just one account. But if you don't plan ahead, it's much harder for people to access your account data. Companies told me you can opt out of using pass keys if you want to, which means you can continue to just use passwords. Or you can set up a password as a backup in case your phone's biometric system isn't working. A passwordless future won't arrive overnight. But personally, I can't wait for a time where I don't have to worry about leaked passwords or weak passwords, really any passwords. 